Hey guys again, time for chapter 7, Fundamental Analysis. And in this, in this recording, in, ten, in these 10 minutes that, I, that I'm going to spend talking about the Fundamental Analysis, I will actually try to go on a branch that on, on the sister or the brother of, uh, of technical analysis. It makes no sense to trade um, whatever you are trading, currencies, equities, uh, without taking into consideration the fundamental uh, fundamental analysis, let's say let's say that you don't care about you don't care about the uh, uh, the numbers uh, that that, uh, that are coming uh, the economic releases let's say that they are coming uh, uh, on the market, but even if even if so, you should be aware at least at the moment of time uh, during the day or during the the week they are being released because these economic releases bring volatility to the market so even for this small detail you need to be aware of fundamental analysis whenever you look at a currency pair you have to take into consideration this fundamental uh, fundamental part uh, this is uh, straightforward means uh, you have to be aware of the economic context of the two currencies that form the currency pair for example the unemployment rate the uh, interest rate differential the um, um, the press conferences, like you see in here, this is the forex. This is the forex factory, www.forexfactory.com, and this is an economic calendar for uh, for a normal trading week, starting with Sunday, and goes uh, way to the end till till, uh, till next uh, Saturday. And these are the main releases, economic releases that are going to um, to influence the trading week. So you should take into consideration the GDP, the gross domestic product. You should take into consideration consumer price indexes that are going to be released on uh, on specific countries. So if you are trading, for example, the euro dollar, you want to be aware of uh, of the CPI, the consumer price index, in the United States on uh, or in Europe, because the CPI is the preferred measure way of uh, of inflation. And inflation is the main driver uh, that that would um, that would make central banks to act on interest rates. And interest rates, of course, are the main are the main source of uh, of um, volatility when you're trading a currency pair. You have to keep in mind that the goal of each central bank. Uh, um, is, um, it is being given by its mandate. For example, the European Central Bank, the ECB, has the mandate. The mandate of the ECB is to keep uh, inflation below or close to 2%. How to do this? Well, adjusting the interest rates. Now, the mandate in the United States, for example, the Federal uh, Reserve uh, has a dual mandate. There is one to keep inflation below or close to 2% and to create jobs. So a dual mandate. In Japan, for example, Bank of Japan uh, had uh, had a, uh, a the mandate of keeping inflation below or close to one percent attention. And starting with uh, the end of last year, it is actually um, having the the inflation target moving towards the two percent. So whenever you whenever you you look at this fundamental part. Try to take into consideration all these elements uh, that uh, an economic release that influence a pair. Um, however, trading is not about understanding how economies function and what a specific number means for the respective economy, but trying to put the number into perspective. And together with your technical analysis of the pair, trying to analyze the evolution of a currency pair as a whole. Um, for example, in here, for example, in here, you are having the you are having the forex factory calendar, and this is uh, these are the economic releases that were being uh, that were being released the last week, so the previous week, and you can see in here you have uh, on just to give you an example, you had on Wednesday on the April 17th, you you have the for the CAD, this is the Canadian dollar, the Bank of Canada rate statement at 10 a.m. And in here you have you have the the time zones and the currency. So the at 10 a.m. I 
I said on Wednesday, let me check, yes, on Wednesday, and then the Bank of Canada, so the overnight rate, and then you have the Bank of Canada press conference. Now, if you're trading, if you're happening to trade the US dollar, Canadian dollar pair, for example, then you definitely would know that even if you're not interested, even if you're not interested what, um, what fundamental says, uh, what, um, what economic uh, data or such a press conference uh, might say. So let's say you are just looking at the technical analysis, just analyzing your charts. You should be aware that a move in the interest rates made by Bank of Canada exactly at this moment of time would definitely make price move and bring volatility to the table to your, to your chart. So you want to be aware of, if not of the exact outcome of this uh, of this rate decision, but at least you should be aware that uh, on Wednesday, April the 17th at 11.15, uh, you will have the Bank of, of Canada press conference, and that would be a moment of risk for your, for your regular analysis or for your trade, if you are having a trade off on, on that specific, car, specific currency. To be successful in trading, you need to be updated all the time with what's about to happen on the week in front of you when you are trading. Look at future economic releases. For example, this is this is for this is for last week. But if you if you click here to up next, so this is for the week uh, that just ended. But in here, this should be for next week normally. See, and it is the next week. And as you can see in here, um, you have um, the release, the time of the release is the scheduled events, the fixings between the, se the sessions are also important. So these are the, the scheduled economic events for the next week. And you should be aware of, uh, of the moment of, uh, of time they are being released and what this should mean for your, for your, uh, for your trading. This was about uh, this fundamental analysis, trying just to make you, to convince you that you need to have the fundamental part besides your, uh, besides your technical analysis because they, they go uh, hand in hand and this is important not necessarily to understand but to be aware of its existence and how to be, how to be treated. Next chapter, chapter 8, will deal with um, with the correlation in the FX world, and because I cannot, I cannot show you, I cannot make a recording exactly on how correlations work. I will just try to write it down on this, uh, on on my computer, what a correlation means and how it should be treated.